China surprised many by revealing three of its missile submarines at the same time. This happened in a region of the world where countries are becoming more competitive at sea. This move makes other countries worried. They are concerned about China's goals and what this means for the safety of the region. The submarines that China showed off are very powerful. They carry missiles that can travel very far and hit targets with great accuracy. This worries other countries because it shows that China can now threaten places far away from its own shores. It means they are becoming a major force in the world's oceans. Experts believe that China is trying to send a message with this display of military might. They want everyone, especially the United States, to know that they are a powerful country with a modern and capable navy. It's a way of saying that they are a force to be reckoned with. For many years China has been steadily building up its navy. They have added new ships, submarines and weapons at an alarming rate. Today, their navy is the largest in the world, even bigger than the United States Navy. This rapid expansion has changed the balance of power in the world's oceans. This buildup is not just about numbers. China is also building very advanced warships, including aircraft carriers and destroyers. These ships are equipped with the latest technology making them as modern and capable as any in the world. They give China a significant advantage in a conflict. China says that this naval expansion is purely for defense. They argue that they need a strong navy to protect their interests, especially their trade routes which crisscross the globe. However, many other countries see this as a threat, particularly in regions like the South China Sea. This isn't the first time that submarine activity has caused tension in the region. Back in 2010, the United States sent three of their own missile submarines to the Philippines. They surfaced in Subic Bay, a move widely seen as a response to China's growing naval power at the time. The U.S. saw China's growing military strength as a challenge to its own dominance in the region. The submarine visit was a way of reminding everyone that the U.S. was still a major player in the region. It was a clear message aimed at deterring any aggressive moves by China. However, the situation is different today. China's navy is much larger and more advanced than it was in 2010. Their actions now carry more weight and their ability to project power is far greater. This makes the current situation more volatile and dangerous. Section 4. America's Answer. The United States is not standing still while China expands its navy. They are also increasing their military presence in the region sending more ships and aircraft to the Western Pacific. The U.S. is also strengthening its alliances with countries like Japan, South Korea, and Australia. The U.S. Navy is conducting more frequent patrols and exercises in the region, often with allies, to demonstrate their commitment to keeping the peace and ensuring freedom of navigation. They are also investing heavily in new technologies and weapon systems to maintain their technological edge over China. However, the U.S. is facing its own challenges. Their navy is stretched thin, with commitments around the world. Also, China's growing influence in the region makes it harder for the U.S. to maintain its dominance. Section 5. Charting a Course Through Troubled Waters The rivalry between China and the United States at sea is one of the most important geopolitical developments of our time. It has the potential to lead to conflict, which could have disastrous consequences for the entire world. Both countries need to find a way to manage this rivalry peacefully. This will require open lines of communication, a willingness to compromise, and a clear understanding of each other's interests. Failure to do so could have dire consequences. The world is watching this naval rivalry closely. The actions of both China and the United States will have a profound impact on the future of the Asia-Pacific region and the world. It is a situation that demands careful attention and a commitment to peace.